Dot Rising Studio. Hi. Hi. Um, so if you could please tell us a bit about yourself, your role, um, and the company you work for, that'd be great. Okay. I'm Richard Hughes. I'm the Director of Social Strategy at Broad Vision, and we sell enterprise social networks. We um, help people set up uh, social networks for people inside their company and also customer communities, partner extranets and so on. And we're sort of interested in trying to get people to think beyond just social media as Facebook and Twitter and to see some of the other applications as well. Yeah, so what kind of important other as aspects are there to digital marketing that's important for your company beyond like Facebook and Twitter? Well, I think that most um, focus on social in digital marketing is about making contact with customers Facebook and Twitter and we want to get make people realize that's great but you have to draw them into a more um, productive deeper engagement with customers rather than exchanging 140 character messages yeah. so we're trying to hook up from the, uh, the, um, the excitement that there is around social and to get people to use it for real work you know more direct business value yeah. okay, fantastic and are there any trends that you've noticed that have been happening this year within that sphere and what kind of things do you think might be happening in 2014 I think that people are getting to an end of a phase where they've been experimenting with Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and Google Plus and thinking, right, that some of that works and some of that didn't. Now what do we need to do? And they, I think they have different frustrations. That there's, some people have put out dumb projects that really had, they had no way of measuring whether it was successful or not. Some people have put out you know, fun-packed marketing messages and been greeted by a torrent of abuse from customers. So I think people are, are better educated about what they should be using social for. And I think that's leading them to thinking a little deeper about their, well, okay, we've made contact with all of our customers on Facebook, how do we draw them in for a more productive conversation somewhere else? Um, I, th I think, you know, most people are really only beginning to realize that. So what I hope we'll see next year is that turning into real projects that are aligned with real business objectives, rather than this somewhat frivolous um, the, the, the experimentation yeah, that we've yeah. seen. Say, well, yeah, well, hey, it's fair, fair enough. I mean, at the start, everyone was guessing because they didn't know any better, yeah. but, but we do know better. We've been doing this three or four years now and uh, we can make some better business decisions. Okay, fantastic. Um, and what kind of advice do you think you would give someone just coming into the marketing industry now? What kind of skills do they need? Do they need some like, flexibility? What kind of things? I think someone coming in now has a massive advantage over a lot of people who have been here already because a lot of what passes for digital marketing is actually analog marketing on a digital channel. And I think people joining the industry now are going to know that this is not just one way broadcasting of information. This is this is a real engagement. Customers have got a voice and they're going to answer back. So you have to bear that in mind and when you choose what to say to them. You know, it's no good putting vacuous, frivolous messages out if everyone's real issue is the price of your product or the fact it's unreliable. You need to engage with them in the way that customers want to. And I think we'll see customers realizing they have much more strength in this relationship than they ever had before. Um, people always talk about customers crowdsourcing and customers getting together, but customers are typically very badly organized. They're each operating as an individual. When they start using social networks to put pressure on brands, we're going to see quite a change in the shift of the, the balance of the relationship. I think there. And I think someone joining the industry now is much better aware of that because they're part of that changing demographic already. Yeah. So it kind of puts more power in the hand of the consumers. When they, they when they work out how to use it, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I don't think they have yet, but I think that's going to happen. Yeah, uh, yeah. Definitely. Fantastic. Thanks so much for talking to us. Thank it's you. really interesting. Much. And if you could, uh, how can people, how can viewers um, contact you on social media? Okay, I'm on, on Twitter at, at underscore Richard Hughes. Um, I'm on LinkedIn at rhughes2832, um, which is hard to remember. <laughs> <laughs> or you can find me on um, uh, my blog, enterprisinglysocial.com. Okay, fantastic. Thanks so much for talking Thank to us. Thank you very much. One of the big trends in digital marketing will be the massive growth of online video consumption on tablets and mobile devices.